climbing out after takeoff runway 27 at Nashkoft, heading west towards initially the Cluidians. That's the Vale of just behind. I'm turning just to look straight up the Cluidians towards the highest peak, Mulvama. Route for today's trip is south of Harden and they're heading due west across the moors overhead Klimbrenig towards the southeastern part of Snowdonia and then routing east back. Always a little unnerving flying over dense forest so I'm trying to head for the open bits just in case the engine were to quit. And this is Klimbrenig Reservoir. Just to the south of Betsy Carrid, heading west following the A470 towards Snowden. So, our first good view of Snowden in the background. Snow on the very summit, above probably 3,000 feet, but not much elsewhere. Just approaching from the southeast. Beautiful part of Snowdonia, there's cracking views of Snowden itself. And completely empty of people. I didn't see a single walker, mountain biker. Everybody, most people flocking to this region just go straight up Snowden. Just performing a little hover here, not complete hover, you can see we are moving across the ground. Ground did dip away quite substantially right in front and I'm not a massive fan of heights, I know, it often surprises people. Uh, it's not unusual in pilots, so I was just staying this side of it and there was another reason as well, that I was getting an alert from my pilot where on Sky Demon, there was a helicopter hovering just on the western side of Snowden. Uh, I couldn't tell it was how they got, I could see it and it looked very very static and when I got back and checked there we have Golf Mike Charlie Golf Kilo and it's one of those search and rescue Coast Guard helicopter so I could see that he was in the same place couldn't actually tell from here that he was a Coast Guard helicopter but I figured out that was probably what was going on so I thought I'd give him a wide berth my iPad has a 3G data connection and I have occasionally in this part of the world picked up no time restricted areas whilst actually airborne and that can happen if there is a real live rescue in progress and that didn't happen today so I don't know whether it was an exercise but anyway it was clearly the best idea was to give the helicopter a wide berth. So I'm now routing due south. I love the colours of the, the mountains and the, the heathers, uh, even more spectacular in the autumn. This was a flight in March 2018, so I will have to come back September, October time. And also spectacular in the snow, but although we have had quite a lot of snow recently, the problem with snow is that if you've got snow up here, you also tend to have snow on the airfield, which makes taking off rather challenging. So I need to find one of those perfect days when there's snow out on the hills, but the airfield is completely clear. They do happen. Even better if they coincide with the day when I don't have to go to work. I do consider myself extremely fortunate to get to fly in such a beautiful part of the world and get a perspective from here that not many people get fairly low, you wouldn't want to be this low in the fixed wing. And if you can fly midweek as I was here, you pretty much have the skies to yourself, apart from search and rescue helicopters. 
Oh, on the RAF fast jets, you do always have to be aware of that is one of the disadvantages of flying midweek. Didn't see any on this trip though. Doesn't mean they weren't out there, just means I didn't see any. From here my plan track had me going straight ahead, you can see the plan for Stignog quarries down to my right, but as I've mentioned, I'm not a massive fan of heights, and that ground is falling off 1500, 2000 feet to my right, so I chickened out and flew down the ridge. As we descend, the wind was coming from directly behind me and that was making it a little bumpy, so it's a case of pulling the throttle back, slowing down, which makes the ride that bit more comfortable. When we get to the end of the ridge, we're going to head towards 2, 3 o'clock position, right turn here basically, crossing the A470 and heading east across the moors. This whole area is littered with slate and other quarries. You can see evidence of them just off to the left there.
out over the moors now with no structures or people or any signs of habitation, so time to go low. This is Kling Conway, which you won't be surprised to hear is the source of the River Conway. Now we're flying up the D Valley, and this is the town of Klangoff. Straight ahead of us, little mound is Castle Dinas Brown. At the end of this valley, there's the famous Ponskathulti Viaduct also the railway viaduct but I was going to take a shortcut and head over the cliffs. And so we're back landing in Ashcroft once again. Lined up for runway 09. There wasn't much wind and what there was was more of a crosswind. So as I was coming from the west it was just easier to land to the east. I'm trying to fly all my approaches as glide power off approaches now. The hardest bit is judging your initial descent point IDP, and not for the first time. I judge this one a little bit too late, which is safer than judging it too early, because I'm now S turning, which keeps G force in the rotor and enables you to lose altitude. But I'm aiming for the point where the runways cross. Quite a long way down the runway, that shortens the taxi and the gyro has so much drag when you pull the stick back, the rotor acts like just a giant brake. So you wouldn't want to land this late on a runway in a fixed wing, but in a gyro, all is well. So we're down, I hope you enjoyed that trip around Snowdonia. <laughs>